Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to part 10 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Conquests Fates. Tab space, one punch Mangs. So there, we got all the memes in one introduction now. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, what's up? I mean, we're gonna play some Fates, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, me and Gas talked a little bit before we started. And uh, we decided we're going to do a paralogue today. Because we do want to see the paralogues. It's nice to do them before they get too easy. At least that's what I think. Alright, we have this base mumbo jumbo to get through. We can do this together. Alright, here's like the automated conversations. Kind of like in the barracks. I fucking hate the barracks. <laughs> Man, skinship just became barracks. Like 2.0. Basically. Like it... <laughs> And now it's, now it's just like now it's just like a half big it's like another half big mechanic now. It's just like well you had a dumb mechanic to begin with. And now you just have a dumb half baked one. At least okay, to its credit, at least skinship was like fully a thing. Yeah. And now it's just like a dismantled corpse of a mechanic that just is not good. It really is. I mean, I don't even feel like voice acting this because it the the conversations they they don't really they don't even really have any substance at all, do they? Yeah, it's literally just it's just a bunch of conquests or er, fucking it's a bunch of barracks all together, and then and then the, and then my my room is just like it's a bit more, but it's yeah. still like three lines. Uh, let's go gay for Arthur. Sounds like a good <laughs> idea. I love I love how like you can. I'm would I have been able to stroke his face if I played there. the if I yes. if I I would. So you yes. can, like, stroke your guy friends as well. Okay. Yeah, isn't that real? Isn't that real? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a... Yeah, I mean, totally. This was like, great. when I when I have my bros well, over, I just go in now. Let's discuss the subtle yet distinct <laughs> difference between justice and vengeance. At least they got some dialogue here, so that's nice. I guess. You get to see... Get to see some cutscenes with them at least, so that's nice. Can I wonder? Can Arthur or can anyone n ever leave not in high spirits? Can you be like Arthur left slightly disappointed? <laughs> Arthur been... Arthur wished he could get his face rubbed, but he could not. <laughs> Arthur left pretty. He down. left sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Today we're gonna be snob manks. Hi <laughs> guys. My dad's gonna pick me up in my Lamborghini later. He's gonna drive me to the party. Kind of reminds you of Scene Kid, get, uh, Mangs. <laughs> like just emo hair covering my eye. Well, time to go back and feed my fish. <laughs> hey, give her some wheat now. Or uh, some wheat. Some wheat? <laughs> that would have been awesome. Oh no, it's it's just a form of bread. Okay. What I... is the point of this? <laughs> I think, you know what? I would fucking love it if there was no point at fucking all. Like, you, just, <laughs> you come back to your... You, come on! Really? I don't know, like... Okay, now she's giving me something. Gold bar? I guess Thanks. you sell that. Like, I think that literally, like... Oh, wait, I, hold on. What, what was her description? Uh, like, the, uh... That might be an indicator. Give, Give Lilith the food to help her level up. She'll help you in battle when you're defending uh, your castle. Apparently, you can go visit other people's castles. Uh, we should try and do that sometime. Yeah. Also, I can give out my castle address, and others can come visit me. I think that's a <laughs> bad idea. But, you know what? Maybe we should just do it, Gast. It would be kind of fun if we suddenly got guys in here. And you know, I'm gonna do it. Does, gonna... it. does it work like that? People just like spam your castle and well, move around a lot? Yeah, I'm online now. So if anyone have my address, they can just come into my castle and there's gonna be like a bunch of Corins running around. So that sounds fun. Oh god, one fucking idiot's enough for me. I can't handle like a bunch of them frolicking around being fucking dumbasses. Well, that's gonna, what's gonna happen if I post my castle address uh, on the let's play. So, yeah. uh, I don't think they can actually do anything. I think they can just, just be look. a horde of fucking idiots running around with their heads cut off. <laughs> Would be kind of fun though. All right. Well, um, I'm not calling your fans idiots. I'm calling comedy. <laughs> that's okay. I I call my fans idiots all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, it's time to. I'm gonna get get this guy a javelin for when he learns the skill to use it. I know Effie can use javelins, so that's great. Javelins. Wait, that's a skill. Or, oh, oh, no, I mean, weapon level. Weapon yeah, level. weapon level, yeah. Oh, so, um, I, you probably read this in the comments, but, um, yeah. The, uh, Nagi, like, 
like uh, Hoshido weapons, like clubs and naginatas and knives, they give you passive boosts. So the really? naginata gives you a pass, uh, like a plus one passive boost for res, and that's why ah, Akbo had it. Ah, I see, I see. The more well, you know. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. All right. Well, oh wait, I could have sold something. I think I got a gold bar from Lilith. Yeah, so that shit. Do, 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 do. 300 wait. gold? That's like. What? That's nothing! What's the Cupid bow do? Uh, after using combat restores, 20% of the risk box up! And it has one might! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, nice. This We can give this to Felicia. With weapons disadvantage, strips foes armor? What? What? Say it, what? I guess, I guess it reduces defense, then. I, I don't know. Yeah. Suppose. Staff store. Yeah. Oh, welcome What's to the staff store. I take it to, <laughs> I take it to the staff shop. I like the like the lollipop. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. We need. Oh wow. What, what is this? Hard steel. Changes the unit's class based on personality. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have second seals, pretty much. Um, for uh, chapter ten, we should uh, save up for defense. Tonics absolutely, and resistance tonics. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just gonna get some heal staves. I can't buy free staves, I am sad. However, I'm gonna get some vulneraries. Good. Good. Listen. Concoctions are kinda cool though, but they cost a lot. Hmm. Concoctions? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Radiant Dawn though? Uh-huh. We'll give Mangs a concoction. Um uh, Effie can get a concoction. See Wait no. Can... Were concoctions in Awakening? I forget. I I think in one of the games they were. I think you there had. Were... Yeah, you had you had herbs in in um, in. Uh, yeah, Radiant Dawn had herbs, vulnerabilities, concoctions, and elixirs. Yeah. Aside from that, I actually don't know. <laughs> I, I got a lot of vulnerabilities now. I'm tempted to get a men's stuff as well, but I think I'll save my money for now. I think. Yeah. All right. Stay safe. I like how they all just pop in and say things when I buy shit. Well, so then we got some supports. My god, this is gonna... Yeah, oh, we have a lot of supports now. Okay. Yeah, yeah! Mm, Elise, why are you throwing punches in the middle of the field? Ah, nice! I'm not doing anything. Really not a thing. I mean, I was just there to pick flowers. Yeah, a pretty girl picking flowers. Oh, I see. Are you sure about that? Because, you know, we're in time space and there's no fucking flowers here. <laughs> but of course, I just wanted to... Make you a lovely bouquet! I'm just too sweet! Wow, a character that's just non-stop tells you how cute she is. <laughs> okay then, it seems an awful lot like you were practicing your punches. Ah, you caught me! You're just too clever for my devious deceptions. Truth is, lately I've been feeling like kind of a burden to everyone. Wow, this is like every healer support ever, guests. Why? Why would Elise feel like that? She's literally one of the most useful units we have. Yeah, healers are super useful. And she's on a horse, and she has a great skill. Come yeah. on, please, don't feel so bad about yourself. You aren't Felicia, okay? <laughs> I was hoping if I train secretly, I can become as strong as you are one day. That will never happen. <laughs> Elise. Oh, Elise, please don't say that, I promise. No one thinks of you as a burden. You're too sweet to say that, Mangs. I love that you're always looking out for me. Although it's kind of creepy. But that's exactly what I need to train. That way I can look out for myself instead. Like, this clearly means a whole lot to you. Oh, it means everything to me. Everything! See, watch this! Kaboom! My killer left hook! Kaboom! My right fist of fury! Kaboom! Kaboom! Yeah! Oh, uh, wow. I'm impressed by your exuberance. Well then, if it means that much to you, I'd be happy to help you out. After all, training is twice effective with two minds of work. You mean it, Banks? Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're the best! I love you the most! Oh, stop loving me! I'm actually kind of a bad character. <laughs> ah, you're very welcome. They don't know it though. <laughs> they don't know There's how no bad I am! Nobody oh, understands how bad I am! No, yeah. let's start with some uh. cardio. Ready, go? <laughs> yeah, here I go! Why do you need cardio? You're on a horse! Uh. <laughs> oh, Felicia Silas, this could be good. Alright, uh, I predict that this will be Felicia being clumsy at something, and Nila's helping her out. And All right. maybe suggesting something about food, and yeah. how they're gonna cook it together or yes, something. Yes, yes, yes. Careful, right, here we go. careful, steady now. No! Practicing your poise, Felicia? Those poor innocent teacups. Ah, oh, Master Silas, my apologies. I didn't mean for you to see that shameful display. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't make fun. You try so hard every day, and I respect that. You just came here to say that? How very kind of you. Well, no. How? It's the opposite, actually. There are some worrying rumors going around in the ranks. 
Hmm? I haven't heard anything. But you've noticed, I assume, that Manx has been feeling poorly. Now that you mention it, he has seemed a bit distant. <gasps> oh my god, guys, they're on to me. They're, they're starting to notice how stupid I am. <laughs> As the rumor has it, and it pains me to say this, people are wondering if you might be responsible for his diminished state. What? What? You spilled tea on Manx, burnt his food, torn his oh, laundry. Got it. Ah, <laughs> got it. The prevailing opinion is that these games are taking their toll on Manx. No, but I would never. I'm not saying that I agree with them. I just thought you should be appraised of what people are saying. Fucking hell, Gast. You sh I Gast can't hear my music because I'm sharing a screen with him on Skype. But fucking hell, this support music is probably some of the best shit I've heard. God, God, this game covers up shitty writing with good music. <laughs> Holy shit, this music is so good. It's like Celtic hard rock. I don't know what it is, but fucking hell, I love it. <laughs> Shit, it's so good. Kind of distracts me from how bad the support is. I don't even think. I don't think the support's bad. I just okay. think it. it I'm being overly way. cynical again. <laughs> That's cute, actually. I do. I do. I do like supports. Even Awakening had really good supports. But then again, I have this theory that writing supports is the easiest thing ever. But that's just me. <laughs> that makes sense. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, so Felisa should shit him made. That's pretty much the gimmick of this conversation. Okay, let's let's, let's try to predict another one. Yeah. Uh, okay. I yeah. predict that... Mm, okay, obviously it's something going to be about bad luck. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be something about bad luck. And he's going to be like, I want to protect you or something. And she's going to be like, I don't need protection. I think, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big girl. I can look out for myself. I think that's okay. how this... Yeah. I am sure. coming, Lady Elise. Your loyal Arthur rides to the rescue. Stay your faithful heart. Ha, ha. A thousand apologies, my lady. I did not mean to keep you waiting. To think if you have been accosted by thugs and it took me so long to reach you. Oh, no, don't worry, Arthur. It's nothing like that. I just had a question I wanted to ask you. Ah, oh, well, Bamba. I am a man of little learning, but I, if I can help, please ask away. You're a man of justice, right, Arthur? So I was wondering, is there anything you wouldn't do to help someone in trouble? No, I would stop at nothing to save even a single person from harm, my lady. A milk lady lost a child, I'd scour the entire globe for that little babe. If an old man could no longer walk, I myself would serve as his legs for as long as need be. I think that's some sort of mental illness, actually, Arthur. You better, <laughs> you should go see a shrink. Wow, so cool! Someone sobbed a single sob, I would tickle them until they smiled. If I saw a fight... I would break it up, but not before I have brought their hands together. Okay, you know what? Arthur's kind of growing on me, Gast. He's I like, think we're, I think we were wrong about this. Yeah, we were. And you know what? I'm actually really starting to like his character. <laughs> this time, the loving clasp of friendship rather than the deadly grapple of war. Er, I suppose I needn't go on. You get the idea. I am who I've always been. Destroyer of evil. Champion of the weak. I am Arthur, the hero of justice. Wow, you sound so galant. Is there anything you can't do? I don't know. Level luck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, not a thing in the world, my lady. Jeez, Arthur, you're amazing. You're not just a hero. You're like an 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 ultra hero. Oh, you flattered me too much, my league. Now, why did you ask me all this? There's something that ails you. If anything troubles you, I will right now to vanquish it for you. Right in its evil face. Really? Well, Arthur, actually, I. Never mind. What, Lady Elise? I beg of you. If there's anything at all, you must tell me. I have sworn to aid you in all things, you know this. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, pretend you didn't hear anything. There are just some things I, even an ultra hero, just this stuff can't do. Ha, huh, so, see ya. <laughs> By my letter loin protector, that girl can be a mystery sometime. <laughs> okay, that was actually a really good support. I'll give yeah, it back. Yeah, that was hilarious. Oh my god, another one with Arthur and Effie. <laughs> Greetings, Effie, can you spare a moment? Okay, let's, let's try to predict this. Um... He wants to get Effie's help because he wants to be better at protecting. Mm, I'm going to say that he wants to help her train. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say the same, but I'm going to say that he wants to ask Effie for advice because his defenses are poor. And he wants Effie to teach him, and then Effie's going to say no because she's busy. Alright, let's see if okay. one of us gets this right. Greetings, Effie. Can you spare a moment to discuss something of dire importance? Arthur, what's going on? Is Lady Elise okay? Haha! <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Sorry I didn't mean to alarm you. But what, say, what I say next may shock and disturb you to your very core. Oh, what are you waiting for? Effie, I believe we need to have a chat. We are having a chat right now. Now, will you hurry up and get to the point? 
Certainly, Effie. I believe that I am falling behind in my Eliska. Ah, uh, please guarding oh duties. God. I see your dedication to her in every aspect of your life, and I am envious. Please, I must know your secret. There's no secret. What he said about my dedication is accurate. I am more than just her retainer. I'm her best friend. Everything I do is for her. That doesn't mean you should feel bad. You're a hero, you know. It warms my ears to hear such praise, but I fear it is not enough. Our battles grow fiercer by the day. I must know the secrets of your strength. Mm, nailed it! <laughs> oh well, my strength comes from my training. You're welcome to join me. Okay, except that she actually welcomed him to train with her. You're welcome to join me for a workout or sparring session yeah, that anytime. That was kind of close. Yeah, fantastic. I look forward to battling to the death. What? Of my energy! To the death of my energy! Is that not a common expression? Oh, my mistake. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Okay, good All job. Right. Right. I like I like Arthur a lot. I, I he is quickly becoming one of my favorite characters, actually. Uh so. you got yeah, he's like uh Holy shit. Invasion? One? He what? does kinda seem like a what What? Level ten. Is that someone else? Hmm. Wait, is no. that an, what the fuck? What does I, invasion mean? I think that the castle just get attacked and you defend it. Shall we try? Well, how many fucking how many things do we have okay, wait, Dragon's Gate? Well, we can, Chat, yeah, Dragon's Gate is the DLC. Paralogue is side chap chapter, and Invasion is a castle defense. Mm. I say we do the Paralogue in this mission, and then we can do the Invasion next time. Because yeah. level 10 sounds difficult. I don't if think in, my If Invasion is, is just like a a fight, then you can probably off screen that for once Ma you get in, like, in, yeah, like, later in the playthrough. Yeah, yeah, if there's multiple ones, then I can, but I think I prefer to have the first one on screen. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. I think invasion is literally just a generic battle, but I, I, I think that like I read that your buildings can get destroyed and shit. So, I think that you need to like pretend it's sort of maybe like a defense chapter. But yeah, we'll do the paralog and we'll do the invasion one next. Nice. Master sees a report that an nearby village is under attack by faceless. The group rush to the village with the hope that they will be able to sell save the victims. Well, <laughs> what more do you need? Faceless village villagers. So, people were like, there's no bandits in this game. Um, um, these are ban faceless they, they are as bandits as you get. Except that instead of har har har, they say gra. <laughs> run, Musu, please stay run and don't look back! Mother, no! Take my hand, we'll run together! Gra, herg. Oh. Ah, my mother! Oh, that guy killed him. Oh, shit. What? He just smacked that old woman. Holy what? shit. Hmm. I didn't hear it, but it was like, BANG! <laughs> Did you hear that? Don't scream, something's terrible is happening. We got, got trouble, alright! This village is under attack by the Faceless! This place has to be ravaged, we're too late! No, no there must be some survivors. Then he left, the people escape, but if there's a even one left here somewhere, let's get searching everyone. Alright. Uh, cool. So it's just a generic bandit chapter, but still. Oh well, it's the first one of probably many. These guys don't have skills, so that's good. Oh my god, get destroyed. Oh. They don't have skills? What the fuck? What is this, Awakening? <laughs> they neither of them have any of these skills, so okay. And their bases are fucking awful. Oh, this is gonna be fun then. Uh, let's <laughs> Just watch. destruction. Yeah, we can... Just throw Arthur at everyone and make sure he's a god. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Alright. Uh, so we, we throw Arthur down here with... Silas? Oh no, Effie is kind of the partner of Arthur. Silas can go... I can pair someone up with Silas and go take on these guys. I think that might actually be a good idea. I can, you, I can, can... You, can, you can... You can pair up right now if you want. Or, yeah, no, yeah. you're probably gonna... You're probably I, going to... That, this, this is kind of bad though. I can't pair up the Avatar with anyone. Or maybe I can pair someone up with the Avatar. Yeah, I can. There you go. But he would have to start on the Avatar spot, which kind of sucks. Um... I don't know who who can you see who who, who can you check supports in this game? I think can you check supports. I, I I don't know if you can. But uh, kinda maybe I should just pair up Effie and Arthur. I don't know. Like so, and then I can pair up I don't know Niles with Silas. But I no wait that's not how you do it. <laughs> Like so, pair up like so, and then Mangs can go and have some fun with the other guys, I suppose. Can you check pair up bonuses? Or I know you can't uh, do that in the battle preparation screen, which is a little bit annoying. That's kind of not good. That is actually not good at all. Anyway, I have a dagger for Felicia right here. 
Uh, there we go, Raider Knife. Raider Knife. Cupid Bow. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, let us go. So, oh, we have a recruitable. Mother, my village, or a villager, I don't know. Looks like a villager, actually. They're all dead. I'm all alone. Nowhere to go with those monsters. They're coming back for me. She looks oh. like a villager. Maybe it's a Donald type. <coughs> hey, look at this. Yeah, I checked her uh, growths. They're good? Oh my god. They are, like, aside from uh, HP, mm -hmm. they're, like, high 60s. Heal 20% of max hit points if unit starts in mountain, woods, waste, or field of s or field space. Nice. Apt yeah, okay. All right. It's a, it's Donald Light, essentially. Wow, yeah. yeah this, this, this chick seems pretty cool. Probably not as good as Donald because her, <laughs> her HP and her defense... Oh, no. Her HP growth is really shoddy, so... Most HP growths in this game are. They've really taken a hit to your HP. I don't know what, what the reason behind this is. So I'm guessing she's going to be a real pain to level up, but really good once you actually get her going. I like how she's shaking. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so she's like hiding in the forest. Ain't that cool. Alright, so 9 speed. Does that mean I can double these guys? Nope. It does not mean But We can use the Raider Knife. So, the Raider Knife... What does that do? Uh, with weapon advantage. Strips I feel first. like... Is it better for... On the defensive side, if it's good follow-up, or is that like I agree, uh, yeah, plus three. It means you get plus three effective speed for calculating double double attacks, but not avoidance and shit. So yeah, if I have a weapon triangle, fuck, I forgot to put put up my picture guests. I should have put up a weapon triangle picture, but I don't <laughs> think these guys these guys don't have weapon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, if I fight, you're just gonna have to like bulldoze through these guys to get to Mozu and Mozu yeah. or whatever. Ah. Good job, go Arthur! Woohoo! No! Arthur! And you get doubled? What is this stupid shit right here? What's his speed? Why does he double me? Nine speed? Nine speed. Unless the unless the axe. Uh oh, he was oh fuck, I attacked using my hand axe. I am the biggest scrub ever. Why, what does the hand axe do? It gives you it minus five speed. And he can't. Oh. And he can't double. Ooh. Uh, they really nerfed the hand axe so Why hard. Why would they nerf the hand axe? I actually was it, was it broken at any point? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I actually, I actually do agree with that. The hand axe is stupid because uh, there's almost never a reason not to use the hand axe, at least in my opinion. Anyway, I think... Oh, I have the talisman. I haven't really used that for anything. Uh, also, it really sucks that we have 11 speed. So I'm not gonna double these guys, I'm afraid. But he can take them on. Oh, I feel like nerfing the hand axe that hard was a little overkill. I mean, their hit rates are usually pretty brutal, and they only have 20 uses for most of the most I need part. to work on my land skill. Yeah! Yeah, you might be right. Like, lowering speed by 5? Like, what the fuck? That is kind of brutal, actually. I don't know. I guess they just really wanted to nerf it. I, I don't really know why. Yeah, I really need to train up Silas's uh, rank so he can use javelins. So, well, they probably have nerfed the javelin equally hard, I think. So, <laughs> wow. So yeah, this this chapter seems rather simple. Uh, we might be able to clear it pretty fast, actually. Probably. Yeah, holy crap, Nails is actually getting his ass kicked, right? <laughs> uh, Thank god they don't have skills. Otherwise. Yeah, like trouble. those in the swamp. Ow, don't don't hit my maid. Oh, Thank thanks, Arthur. You're you're a cool dude. Ah! Alright. So what's Arthur's skill again? Misfortune? He lowers the luck. Yeah, he lowers evasion. he lowers the evasion of everyone around him, but he also has less avoidance. So, he gets hit a lot, but Eunice around him also gets hit a lot. But the skill of uh, Odin is actually just better, because that just plain re reduces the void. So, it's kind of weird, actually. Uh, also, yeah, I his skill sucks. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to use my concoction, but I feel like I don't really have a choice. <laughs> I didn't really plan this out. <laughs> Alright, well... Arthur, you can take these guys, and uh, we can give a kill to Odin. I, I like Odin. I I try to like Odin, at the very least. What is What are his growths? 
Did you uh, check? He's alright. He's decent growths overall. A little bit slow in speed. That's like the only thing I don't like about him, but uh, he's really good in all other areas. Is he uh, close to Owain? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember Owain's growths. All I know that is he really freaking acts like Owain. He's kind of <laughs> like the Dark Mage Owain. Yeah, even that's has, the. That's he even the has idea. the same freaking hair as Owain. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the. That's the. Didn't did that's like, like the, that's the point really. It's pretty yeah. much just to throw three. All right, so they they basically. Know, you don't. Do you, do you know the? Uh, hmm. There's two other characters. I won't spoil it for you. Yeah. That are pretty much just the same characters from Awakening. Really. That come here. Yeah. They're just all right. That's just as a homage. That's kind of cool. Yeah, and I, the first time I saw him, uh, saw his dialogue, I was like, wow, it's like literally like a Wayne, because he, he talked like him, and yeah. he has this whole, uh, I like big, uh, I, I like legendary weapon gimmick. So yeah. Wayne was looking for the Mistleton, and this guy, <laughs> he gets a crit bonus if he wills a tome with a lot of names in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Man, so what skills do you like a lot right now? I think my one of my favorite skills is uh, elbow room. Cause holy yeah. shit, against like like on like no terrain, like fucking cavaliers are already sick. Yeah. And now he has like huge advantages. I really, I really like Elisa's skill that reduces that, damage. I was gonna say that too. Yeah. I was gonna say that, too. that is perhaps one of the coolest skills for me because. Uh, um, it just really, really. It, there's so much you can do with it, right? I'm, yeah. I'm planning on using it to great effect right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place. I'm thinking about placing Elise here, and I'm placing Arthur here, and he's gonna take a lot of, of attacks on enemy face. But thanks to Elise, he's not really gonna take all that many attacks. Like so. Are Arthur's growth good? Arthur's growth are. He, he actually has insane strength. Uh, he only has 50% speed and he has 10% luck, which is not good. But he has really high strength, skill, and speed. And 50% defense as well, so he's really good. But yeah, his luck will not grow. He will probably <laughs> be stuck at 10% luck for a very long time. So he will actually become prone to criticals, which is a little bit of a shame. Yeah, that's uh, danger. Yeah, he's gonna... He's... I, I, I foresee that the first bullshit critical will happen uh, with Arthur. Cause he's gonna be, he's gonna be subject to like those two and three percent criticals all the freaking time. Yeah, you already have like PTSD when it comes to that anyway. Oh my god, yeah. It's not your cup of tea. Nephany, man. Little Nephany. Never forget. Never forget. I had never forgotten you, Nephany. I don't. I don't. I don't like Nephany that much, man. I, I think she's boring as hell. I just think she is insanely hot. Yeah, I don't know. I just I understand that she has the the small town girl, country girl vibe, she but really I just think does. she sucks as a unit. Yeah, I, just, I don't like using it. Like in, in Radiant Dawn, she's just like she's like a swordmaster. In Radiant here, Dawn, I found gets, yeah, she gets beat up all the time. In Radiant Dawn, I found her very tricky to use, but in Path of Radiance, like, I'm a sucker for speed, and if there's one thing Nephni has shit tons of, it's speed. <laughs> and she also, I think also, I'm, I'm partly biased, because in my Path of Radiance Let's Play, my Nephni leveled strength, perhaps, I think, like, eight times in a row, strength yeah. and speed. So she just turned into an absolute monster and just killed everything. And, you know, when you have a first-time experience with a character, like, skill speed, yes, you got speed, fuck. Shelter, cool. You can rescue guys now. When you get like a first-time character like that, it's really difficult not to like them, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we are feeding kills to Arthur here. <laughs> <laughs> we should be realistically feeding kills to Effie. We actually should, cause oh, what the hell? They can move on rivers? Ah! Uh -oh. That is not cool, man. That is not cool. All right. Yeah, we should actually be feeding kills to Effie, cause Effie is really good. Yeah. We can always just switch, swap them around, although... Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's for the best. Actually, yeah. Get a, get a kill or two, and then... Yeah. Uh, Arthur's hot. Oh, crap. I said fucked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Think before you uh -oh. move, Mags. Think before you move. It's fine. Um, let's see. 
The thing is, when things get a little bit too easy, I go autopilot mode, and that is scary Damn. in this game. That is really yeah. scary in this game. You sh shouldn't do that. What should we do? What should we do? She says. Well, I have an idea. Kill the monsters, you know. Uh, I was gonna do that. <laughs> I was <Good> gonna. <laughs> he says I was gonna do that because they stole her kill. That was kind of charming, actually. Yeah. Uh, I like. It. I, I'll admit, like, uh, the ch the writing is still charming. Charming, I yes. Found, I always found Fire Emblem writing to be charming anyway. Oh, yeah. It's like one of the big... One Punch Mings! Yeah, I, it is actually... Um, charming is the word. They're really good at writing charming dialogue. But then again, yeah. I don't really know how hard that is, but still. I'll, I'll stop using that argument every single time. <laughs> it's just, I've never, I've never really written things, so I don't know, but... I just uh, feel like it's not hard. Well, I mean, like, you have to have, like, the... Like, the... the the, like, the ability to write... I think like, I'm actually gonna separate these two, because I think it's just so much better to be separate. Oh, <coughs> what am I doing, man? I have faith <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you see, this is what happens when the chapter gets easy. My play style just deteriorates. That I'm like... That's why you were bad at Awakening. I, yeah, that, that, but that is literally why I suck so much as Awakening, because most of the Awakening chapters just turns you into an autopilot, and when you just turn off, you just turn off your brain, because there is no incentive to keep it on. Yeah. And that is bad, I know, but really, I, I don't know, like, there's real, I, I just see now there's no reason to pair up at all, unless you're gonna choke a point. That is literally the only reason to pair up now. There's just so much better to not pair up. Yeah, it, it has its uses for sure. De like defensive purposes is definitely a reason. Yeah, and but when like, you're playing, like when you fought against like uh, these guys in chapter seven, if you didn't pair up, everyone would be fucking dead by now. Absolutely. So it's uh, it's really funny. Like I, I it, they don't even call it pair up anymore. They call it offensive and defensive formations, which I actually <laughs> think is uh, is it's actually a lot better. Anyway, I have a feeling I'm gonna go and talk to this villager girl. You know what? You can actually go up and heal these two guys. We don't need both healers down here. <laughs> I don't even know if there's any enemies left. Yeah, there's there's actually a lot of enemies left. Um, I'm gonna give a lot of kills to Effie, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. A couple are. Uh, where's Manx? There we go. Fuck. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Ah! I'm here to help. Where are they? My mother wouldn't take my hand, she's so sorry. I'm so sorry. There's no time to grieve, not now. Stay behind me, I'll keep you safe. I have to fight for mother! For all my friends! For everything those monsters took from me! Alright, so this well, doesn't... Alright. That's... that's good. That's a good recruitment thing. Yeah! That's like the first good one. Like, that's what should be the standard. That it should, like... Absolutely. You know what I mean? That is good. That, that is, is good. actually good really, really good. All right. Well, um, we I, shall. Well, it'd be it's strange that you find that in the paralog, but yeah, yeah. We, uh, we I them. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try my best to um, to give her some experience. It didn't say that I had to give her a level like Don with Donald. You had to literally give him a level in the chapter, or else uh, he wouldn't join you. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit weird, but yeah, um, that's a weird requirement. Yeah, that I always found that a little bit weird about Donny, but that's how he works. So. All right. Well, let's try to give the. Okay, there he comes. Yeah, I I foresee Silas being like a really MVP at this LP. If we can just get it, get give him a couple of levels and get him rolling. Yeah. I feel like Niles will probably drop off a little bit. He's really good now. Yeah. What are, what are his what are his growths? They're good actually. I I didn't check if it was a pre promote or not. Wow, she does no damage. <laughs> she has literally to live by dual strikes. Oh, Arthur. What the fuck, Arthur? Well, that's what you get with this skill. <sighs> Go, Elise. Just throw, just throw yourself at him. <laughs> does I, does she give any uh, para bonuses that are good? Uh, Elise. Because that might be your, that might no you Mozu. Mean? That might be your thing. Who? What? Hmm? Musa or Mozu, whatever her name is. Yeah. See if uh, she gives a good para. Uh, no, just skill skill three, but I don't think she earns an experience when using defensive formation. So that's um. But if I do this, she gets to attack, and I don't know. Still doesn't do anything. I don't think she actually gets an experience. Wow, oh, that's a that's a that's a dick move, Fire Emblem. Like, give me a villager in a chapter where she physically <laughs> can't do damage. Uh, like it that fits. It fits the narrative. I guess, but couldn't she at but... least have done like one damage? I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, the or... only thing I can think about is like I'm, I'm gonna. Have to, I know that Mang's one runs these guys, so what I can do is I can do this, and I think she might get some bonus experience from assisting with the kill. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, you know what? Maybe if you paired her up with uh, someone who gave strength. That is true. That is true. Then but she'd it get probably experience from that. She would still. But do I think almost. that's Effie, and she's all the way up there. Yeah. Wait, no, no, yeah, is that no. Effie or is... She literally do not get it. Yeah, she doesn't get, even get experience out of this. No, Effie is, if, Effie is here. Uh, yeah, I can give her plus two strength, but that... She still hardly... Then you don't train Effie, and Effie's, like, gonna be the god of this game. <laughs> uh, I, to be quite honest, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just... Maybe the village just, just isn't that good. I could always just, you know... Don't care that much. I don't know. I think I think what we have to do is make sure we optimize ourselves for chapter ten as much as possible. It's true. I think Effie is Effie and Silas definitely some guys. I'm not sure about Odin actually. He he's actually not that great. Um, Feed Effie. I think Feed so. Her I think I think, Ar I think Arthur with his with his hand axe is pretty decent actually. Uh, so I'm gonna use Arthur because I like him. But man, his hit rates are so shaky. Hmm. So freaking shaky. And of course, I'm probably gonna use Felicia. Yeah. Healers are just. Even if she is a pre promote, I don't give a shit. She is really good. I kind of forget she's a pre promote from time to time. Yeah, well, her look, she doesn't look like a promoted unit. She doesn't act like one either. <laughs> she doesn't. She really doesn't. But apparently, maids are promoted units, which I find really weird. Like. Maids doesn't strike me as the kind of guys who should be pre-promotes. They kind of feel like they should be like utility, like, like yeah. dancers or something. Yeah. Oh, and like there a we maid go. and ninja, like what? How does that connect with each other? I don't ninja, know. I can understand. Ninja sounds like a pre-promote, but maid... no, I mean like, but like you're a maid, but you are also a ninja. I don't like, know. I, every I kinda... maid in this game is a ninja, but I think it did come from the ice. I think it's like the western part of the geisha. Because Geisha were kind of like, I don't know. Oh, Dragon Deck mode. Dragon Deck. Mm, dragon Damn penis! Mm. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> mm, another Dragon Penis. Dragon right Penis. Maximum yeah. penetration. Blow mm. drop. Mm, yeah. <laughs> looks right. so fucking silly. At least now I understand where he got those silly moves from in Smash. Yeah. <laughs> First time I saw Corrin in Smash, before playing Fates, I was like, what the fuck are they doing in the new Fire Emblem game? Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, good question. Like, what? Why is he? Why is his arm turning into a dick? Yeah, she got speed, lovely. Okay. Oh, okay. there are villagers. There are visit, visit, visit. Oh no, are they ransacked I, villages? Or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh. There's, there's. She told her like there, there's no yeah. one left. So. They're all gone. All gone. Oh, I guess oh these it. guys are like the dream team. I like Niles. I don't like Odin. I'm pretty sure Odin's gonna get benched, actually. I just feel like he doesn't do enough damage. Like, this is like... he, he The thing about Odin... Uh, or Dark Mage or Wayne, as we've come to call him. Seven base speed. It's just not good. Seven base speed is too low, and his growth isn't fantastic. It's gonna take him a very long while. Until he can get up to like he can't even double these guys in the paralog like, yeah. I don't for I don't understand like I really like his skill, um, the Heart Seeker, really good skill, and you can do a lot of funny things with this. The only problem is you want to you don't really want him in melee. That's that's the only thing I don't like about it. Does his skill proc, um, in par <coughs> in in offensive or defensive formation? Pretty sure. I haven't checked, but I'm 99% sure because it would because make sense. Because it probably feels like there are some there are like maybe there's like this thing in Fates where like some units are just better for being defensive paired and then there are some who are being yeah, are you, better you, for being you might you might paired. be right actually. So might. Odin might just be really good for holding down the fort. Yeah. Cuz he can he can deal magic damage against melee units and um it, when you pair up you don't attack twice. Like when yeah. you're the partner, you don't attack twice. That is true. He might actually be a good, uh, good supporting unit with his skill. That is, uh, yeah. that is actually a really good point. I didn't think about that. So, yeah, that's uh, probably why there's yeah. this. Yeah, we'll, prob sort of, we'll like, probably make different... use of him some way or the other. Yeah, and chapter ten is probably super fucking useful because yeah. it's a defensive, it's a survival thing. Right. These guys have stopped moving. I'm basically just feeding kills to my other guys at this point. Effie yeah. and Arthur. 
And, uh, Mangs does well. not need enough. No, Mangs. Mangs, Mangs, Mangs is eat. full. Mangs is a fucking glutton at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and just giving some staff experience to Felicia. Uh, I like how they still they keep earning experience uh, from um, from stay. It is kind of it is kind of risky though. It is. Yeah, you should be careful. All right. Well, let's. Uh, Almost Shaggy. had debuff, but no. Rock, bro. You know this guy doesn't move, so I could theoretically just stand here and level my bow skill on him. But <laughs> like, this is like the first rule of fire on them. You always give the boss a ranged attack, right? <laughs> like, I can't believe they're not doing that. But oh well. Anyway, Nilas, it takes a long fucking time to level your weapon rank in this game. Yeah. Like. I've been attacking things all chapter, and he's still wielding bronze lances. That's really That's weird. Sick. What a joke. Alright, well, we'll bring the boss down. Blah. Okay. Um, so, in the, in the hacking community, there has been um, <clears throat> a feature that has been, like, sort of created. It's like, okay, you know how like in when Sha in Shadow Dragon and in, like in every game after Shadow Dragon, if a guard, if a, if an enemy is set to guard, uh -huh. their, their movement range will just be zero spaces and it'll just be like... Yeah? Do you think that is too telegraphy or do you think it's it works? I um, personally... I personally like it. I think that the less uninformative bullshit there is in a Fire Emblem game, the better. I think that you should be able, like, I don't, I think nasty surprises can be used every now and then to really surprise the player, but should be used very sparingly. Um, I like it when the boss's movement range indicate whether they move or not. I really think it's bullshit that the boss suddenly moves off his throne and goes, HELLO! <laughs> not sure if you follow my Fire Emblem 12 Let's Play, but I just did the Kadain chapter. And uh, basically, as I'm about to go and talk to Alarion, or kill Alarion on the throne, he moves off his throne and Thoron's my fucking wounded the guy, and Ooh, game over. And it's like, that's bullshit. oh yeah, okay, so the boss moves off his throne, okay. How was I supposed to know that exactly? That shit kind of pisses me off, and yeah. that ruins my day, and there's a lot of bullshit like that in that game. Especially, I hate it the most when, like, certain packs are linked to other packs. Like, there's a bunch of wyverns here, but they don't move, even if you come within their range. But when you pull a cavalier near the fort, then they activate. Shit like that can go and die. <laughs> like, there's no... Uh, unless you get a dialogue from, like, a wyvern general saying, Okay, we will engage the enemy when the cavalry enters the battle. You know? Yeah. Like, Midnight Sun did that a lot, and that's good. Yeah. What I'm doing is that, um, you know that exclamation point thing in yeah. FE7? Every mm, time an yeah. AI changes, I'm, I just trigger that, and so it's an indicator. Right, like you did in the Beast range. chapter, where the Beast went... Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Like, shit like that makes... It's all about making the hack enjoyable, and enjoyable doesn't mean you need to remove difficulty. Just, But I I have two kinds of difficulty, bullshit difficulty and real difficulty. And yeah. Fire Emblem pulls a lot of bullshit difficulty. Bullshit difficulty is when a bunch of cavaliers pops out from a fort and fucks your healer in the ass. That's bullshit <laughs> difficulty, you know? Gra um, erg un arg. Unwarranted spawns on yeah. player uh, on enemy phase. Unless you war. you just finish your turn and it's just like, get wrecked. Yep. Nice! Strength, speed, and luck. His defense is actually still, like, he seems yeah. just, like, really good. Really freaking good. Alright, so I guess we get the villager now. Alright! Alright, we finish off the last of the faceless. You know, Manx, maybe it'd be less cheery. She just kind of lost her entire family. Um, well, maybe he's, maybe he's saying it like, alright. No, no, he just voice acted it, and he said, ALRIGHT! <laughs> Like he was hey, really, Mozu, he was, guess what? he was super cherry, like laughing almost. Wow, um, that sounds kind of like his character. Oh, did you see all the great things we've been doing? <laughs> well, what do you mean your family's dead? Oh, well, I guess I mean. Uh, I mean what, like, what do you mean you don't automatically love me whenever I appear? Everyone else does. What is? What? You must be a faceless. Die. <laughs> what do I do now? They took my mother and my life. You must have some family near her. We'll be glad to take you there. No, Mangs, not everyone comes from a freaking castle, you know. There's no one. I couldn't even start over here by myself. All the homes, fields. It's all destroyed! But I wouldn't want to stay here even if it wasn't. Everyone I call the family is dead. Every house, a grave. Listen, Listen we'll take you in. We can't replace all that those you've lost. But we'll take care of you. Huh? I can join your group? Yeah. Yeah, but only till we find you a safe place to call home. 
a group, a family of sorts, is bound by a dangerous cause. You, we go on from, from one battle to the next, ever in peril. That's no life for you. Dude, man, she can just live in space time. Yeah, I was literally just gonna say that, like, dude, just bring us. I have a freaking get, like... alternate dimension where you can live safely for the rest yeah. of your life. Just you're a farmer, right? We have a fucking, we have a lot, we have yeah. a plot of land. You can just take yourself Gr there. Grow space have... time vegetables. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they probably taste. They probably taste great. Hmm? Hang out with our talking fish too. Yeah, she'll sure be really good friends with her. She's probably gonna plump into my uh, castle anyway. I can imagine. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I can help. I might even save you or your friends. Let me join your cause. Whatever it is, I'll keep your family alive. Yes. Yes, of course. I have to admit, you sound like one of us already. I'll do my, I'll do my best. best. And I'll stay safe. After all, mother's watching over me now. Alright, so we basically got Donalina. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, there isn't really a lot to say about this, but I guess we'll talk about it anyway. So, Gast, what do you feel about the first paralogue in this game? Um... I don't know. It's what can you say? It just feels it's kind of lazy. Wasn't it's it? just like <laughs> like just like an autopilot thing. It's just it was lazy, but again, I don't expect all paralogues to be top tier. But yeah. they could have added a little bit of an objective, maybe. I don't know, just something yeah. like the thing. What like I think I think that eventually the faceless would have started moving on her. We were sort of on a timer. I felt because she was hiding in the woods and they weren't. Yeah, moving. I kind of had the impression that they were gonna chase after her, but they just kind of stood there. Yeah, but like they could have started moving a little bit sooner. I think maybe like moved slowly towards the forest or something. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I'm not gonna give it too much crap. It's a paralog, and you know what? If there's any map you have a faceless in a village, it's a paralog map. You know, I actually I actually don't mind the occasional bandits in the village in Fire Emblem. I think it's okay to have, as long as you don't do it all the time. Like in Awakening. Like in Awakening. Every single parallel. Basically, it's, it's just bandits in a map. And a kid who's there for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rough, rough oh, well. But yeah, um, I don't know, I, I, I can... I like Mozu. She has like a tragic thing going on yeah so i like that yeah, all she's, right she's nice she's nice i'm not sure if i'm gonna use her though i really hate uh, villagers i really do i don't know if it's good maybe see i don't know because you can't grind and like you can't really that's go the on a thing map we grind. don't have any grind levels how do you how do you use a villager without grinding that is that it sounds tricky do they they don't you don't you wouldn't get experience from fighting other uh, people, would you like? Um, I actually, like, haven't like, I haven't put myself like into that. But castles I, and shit. I, I know that there's a lot of benefits to be had from visiting other people's castle. I think that when you visit other players' castle, you get shit. Like you get some yeah. gifts, and there's also a rating that goes up every time you meet someone. And if you work hard and and do some castle battles, you can gain some free shit. Like in Awakening, you can get like a goddess icon or something like that. I I I should go read up on it, but the wiki is so full of spoilers, so I'm really afraid to go there. <laughs> So I'm sure I'm sure someone in the comments can do, give you a spoiler free yeah. description of. But I, I guess I'll if I if I haven't done it already, I guess I'll throw out the address to our castle so it can get swarmed by fanboys. We'll see in the next part. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I do it? <laughs> um, at your own risk, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Simple as though it was. I felt like checking it out before it gets too kind of like, um, what can you say, uh, unnecessary. Because if we wait too long, these, these parallels just become an absolute joke. Oh, to be quite honest, this one already felt like it kind of was below yeah. our level. Yeah, a waste of time. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for wasting your time with me and Gas this evening. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment, and we shall see you guys next time. Goodbye. See